What are you gonna say? Hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> we'll be back. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Joseph. And Gabby here. We're here in San Diego. We came with Joseph's friends, so come along with us and see what food we get into. This is my buddy since sixth grade, David Castillo. David His Castillo. Girl, Diana. Diana. Behind the camera, Shara Majulesi. <laughs> Mushroom and buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken and a mushroom pizza. Mushroom. <laughs> Alright, this is the buffalo chicken pizza. Mm. I am still eating my mushroom one. And it's still good. <laughs> the dough is pretty good. Yeah. It's nice and thin, super cheesy, not too greasy. Mm. Toast. Boom. Cheers. I'll show you this mushroom pizza again. God damn it. Mm. Mushroom pizza is always my favorite. So that buffalo chicken ranch pizza is gone, but I give that one an eight. Not spicy, but still had a little tang in it. And the chicken was not dry, so it's super good. So an eight. And then this mushroom pizza, super simple, just cheese marinara and mushrooms, but this is a nine. I just love mushrooms. Mm. For the buffalo pizza, I give it... <laughs> super mild. I give it an eight. An eight? I think that's what I give it. <laughs> How about that mushroom pizza? Which one did you like more? I also give it an eight. Two eights. Not bad. Not bad. Where are we now? I have pizza in my teeth. In my mouth. We're in line for salt and straw now. If you guys ever been there, then you already know why we're here. Very unique ice cream flavors. Very unique. Salt and straws flavors in here in San Diego location in Little Italy are chocolate gooey brownie, salted malted chocolate chip cookie dough, sea salt with caramel ribbons. That's probably what I'm gonna get. Cold brew coffee, strawberry honey balsamic, honey lavender. Oh, you might get that. I'm getting you might that. Get that. Uh, thousand She's percent. a sucker for lavender. I'm not um, a sucker. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> Pear and blue cheese. Ew. I'm definitely getting the caramel with ribbons. How about you? I am definitely getting lavender honey. I love lavender. She's a sucker for lavender. So we got our ice cream and Joseph got caramel with sea salt ribbons. Looks delicious. And a waffle cone. And then I got cinnamon snickerdoodle on top and then honey lavender on the bottom. Also in a waffle cone. Fire. Cinnamon snickerdoodle is delicious. And then honey lavender, so good. I'm gonna try Joseph's. <laughs> no! Oh my god, you ate all the caramel. I saw <laughs> that. that. <laughs> all right, so I got that sea salt with caramel ribbons, but Gabby licked all that caramel off already. Mm. That's good. This is always my go-to flavor. This one's probably a nine out of 10. I don't know if it's the best I've ever had, but pretty dang close. I think salt and salt. Maybe. You think the salt, huh? <laughs> Can't miss with salt and straw. Can't miss. Boom. For breakfast, we came to this place called Eggies. Check it out. Focus. I got the California, but no bacon. It has avocado, egg, uh, turkey sausage, I think, and... Mm -hmm. Munster? Uh, Munster sauce, yeah. Cheese. <laughs> um, sorry, cheese. Munster cheese. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks hella good. 
Let's try it. Mm. I don't think I've ever had a turkey sausage, but I like it. Really? It's not bad. They give you hot sauce and ketchup. They sell egg sandwiches and hash browns. Pretty good breakfast. I love an avocado with egg. Like, avocado and egg, you can't go wrong. So that's fire. And then the turkey sausage, like, I feel like it's not as overpowering as, like, regular sausages that I've had in the past. So I think it's, like, a nice balance with it. The Munster cheese is so good. I don't think I've ever had Munster cheese before, but I really like it. Creamy. Yeah. It's creamy, delicious. Everything that you want in a breakfast egg sandwich. So good. My total was, like, 970. Um, I think I'd have to rate it an 8 out of 10. It's pretty good for a little breakfast spot right before the beach. Get your tummy full before you dive in the water. <laughs> Cheers. Club. We got a couple of California burritos. I want to flash with that real quick. Cali burrito. Basically carne asada, french fries, pico, guacamole. Mm -hmm. Solon Pacific Beach area. Just got done swimming, so this Cali burrito is hitting right now. It is some good Mexican American food. That's a good Cali burrito. I give this a 10 out of 10. I say 9 out of 10. I see nothing wrong with it, so it's good. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just don't know if it's the best Cali burrito I've ever had. It goes so good. It's a little spicy, but it's so mild. My one critique is that there's not enough French fries in this, but it's still very good. I don't know what cheese this is, but it's super creamy, nice and salty. Well, here we're at Pacific Beach. Want to grab some good Mexican burritos or tacos? Hit up at the spot. Very taco club. It's really good. It has a pink and blue aesthetic outside, so you won't miss it. They are all really nice, and the food is delicious. Also connected to a bar if you wanted to get some drinks or cocktails. We got a Coke. Mexican Coke, you can't pass. That's why. Hey guys, just got done at the Red Hot Chili Peppers show in um, the Padres Stadium in San Diego. It was so fun. Yeah. We're so tired now, but it was a really good time while we were there. Thundercat and Heim both opened for them. And we went there for Joseph's birthday. Yeah, a little, little birthday celebration, but now we're trying to- Meet up with our friends. Meet up with our friends, but we'll see what's happening. We're not sure if we're gonna still get food, but we'll see. This is one of the shirts we got. Super cool. Turn it. Yeah, some more merch. Unlimited love tour. Nice. Boom. Very cute. All right. See you guys soon. So we're here at Point Loma Seafoods. And we're trying some really, really good stuff. Yeah. We got some oysters, about eight pieces on the half shell. A scallop sandwich. That and up. it's on sourdough bread. Sourdough bread. Looks like some garlic, garlic mayo. mayo. Yeah. 13 pieces of scallop, cooked perfectly. And then this was the special of the day. It's a soft shell crab sandwich, kind of like a po' boy. Looks so good too. But it's like literally like the whole crab. They whole don't cut crab. it up. Cold crab, yep. And all this food was like forty-seven dollars. Forty-seven dollars, about. Yep. We're at um, around Point Loma area in San Diego. Super Point. nice. We're like by by a marina, so it's like super fresh. The seafood spot. Point Loma seafoods. Always gotta put them in on the oysters. Look out for them seeds, though. Thank you.
Thank you. Radish? Radish, radish. Hopefully you guys can see that. We're still learning how to use this camera. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm, that was a hell of a good spice. That sauce is really good. Wow. These are some fresh oysters. And they're so good. So good. They're sweet, not bitter, and not the, too and oceany. And the sauce they give you is like absolutely delicious. So good. <laughs> Cheers. I put a little bit too much horseradish in that last one. So good. My eyes are watering. It's like wasabi. Yeah. It is like wasabi. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Horseradish is messing me up. <laughs> She doesn't do good with spice. I love spicy. Mm. I felt that one. I put a lot on yeah. accident or Which on purpose. All right. Very good things about this. Uh, I've heard good things too. too. Mexi pep. Very good things. Never tried it. All right. Cheers. Mmm. Super good. Super tender. Not overcooked or chewy. Oh my god. It's delicious. The sauce is really good too. One more bite and then I'm gonna try it with the Mexico. Mmm. Wow. Mexico. Let's see. Mmm. Good with the Mexico? Mm hmm. So good. This is amazing. I'd say this is the best seafood sandwich I've ever had. I'd say that too. Oysters, nine out of ten. Scallop sandwich, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. Reasonable price for seafood. Two sandwiches and all those oysters. The scallop sandwich alone was like around seventeen bucks, but you know scallops are expensive, so. It was actually a really good price, and it's super fresh. They don't drip you at all. Wow. This sandwich couldn't get any better. No. 10 out of 10. It's like literally perfect. First meal of the day. Started off on a high note. Good breakfast. <laughs> it's 10.57, so kind of brunch. Soft shell crab under all this uh, coleslaw. I love soft shell crab, so hopefully this turns out good. I'm sure it will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, French roll, soft shell crab, coleslaw. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. Not as good as the scallop sandwich, but it's still, still really good. This one is just like a special of the day. So. Mm -hmm. It's just like in a little spice, maybe a spice. Kind of messy. It's still pretty good. I give this one like a seven out of ten. Hmm. I give it like an eight. Hmm. I don't like stuff that's spicy or anything really, and it's like perfect. The batter on the soft shell is good. Very light, light breaded. I'm making a mess. We got cream all over your face. Hmm. <laughs> like all over. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. You say eight out of ten, huh? Yeah. So that means it's a seven and a half. The cocktail sauce. And horseradish. When you come here, they have a really nice like upper deck. It's really nice. You can like sit right by the marina, get a good view, get good pictures. It's very peaceful. And they're really nice, which I appreciate. For sure, get the scallop sandwich. This is so good. But scallop sandwich is like out of the park. The number one thing. And the oysters. Oysters and the scallop sandwich. They really do give you a lot of food. I'm full. Yeah. And Joseph eats a lot. I eat a lot. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna finish up here and then we're gonna take you guys to the next spot. See you there. Queso Bidia from El Rey. Bidia El Rey. Consume. 
right? Mmm. Whoa. It's so good. Mmm. Look at that. Steaming hot. Gabby got a Coca Cola with a G. Mexican style Coke, of course. And I got Coke Zero, of course. <laughs> Case of Bidia from Bidia El Rey. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Best Bidia dish I've ever had. Looks good. Oh, wow. It's okay. I want your first reaction. The beef is so tender. Oh, good. Got some pickled onions we forgot about. Yeah. Pickled onions. That's a game changer too. <laughs> nice saltiness. Mm -hmm. Alright, I forgot to put the onions on it, but we're gonna do it now. This is still steaming hot. Look at that, man. So good. Mm. <laughs> it's good with the onions, huh? Mm-hmm. That's a nice texture. If you like video, you're gonna love this place. A little bit of ah, 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 and then a little one, two, three. <laughs> hey guys! We're here at a sushi spot in San Diego called Azuki. Yep, starting out with some shiitake miso soup right here. It has I'll show you a better video. some shiitake mushrooms in it and it's so good. I've never had a miso soup with mushrooms. It's delicious. This is our second time here and we're so excited to show you guys what we're having. Mm. Delicious. Also got some mixed temper right here. Crunchy. It is crunchy. You're right. As it should be. <laughs> good. So we got the omakase shirashi. Chef's choice of fish over sushi rice. Looks fire. And then we got chef's choice of nigiri plate. You get six of the chef's choice of fish and then you get a roll on the side. So we got salmon and avocado. And it looks good. Uh, well, you Good, I'll do one brownie and then a guava cream cheese, cinnamon sugar, and then we'll try two of each of the donut holes, so the sprinkles and cinnamon toast. Thank you.
up on top of Devil's Dozen. Got a few things here. They got a rooftop, super cool. Looking out everywhere. <laughs> Little Italy area. <laughs> All right, so right here we got guava cream cheese, brownie, cinnamon sugar, sprinkled donut holes, and also cinnamon toast crunch. Looks really good. I'll try the sprinkles first. Mmm. It's not a cake donut either, so it's still fluffy. Nice. Cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon toast crunch. Mm. These are the best textured donuts ever. We're not big fans of cake donuts, so. Oh yeah, brownie. Brownie donut hole. And that one's actually a cake one, but that was still good. Mm. I'm gonna show you guys this brownie one and then I'm gonna let Gabby eat her donut. Good. Mm hmm. It's a cream cheese chocolate. Yum. So good. Devil's Dozen, guys. Our favorite donuts in San Diego. There's always a line in the morning, so get here early. It opens at 8. Or they'll sell out. <laughs> they'll sell out. They sold out yesterday at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right, Gabby's turn. I got cinnamon sugar. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Very good. Better than your average cinnamon mm -hmm. sugar? Their donut batter is just different. It tastes so good. Guava cream cheese. Guava Tell cream them. cheese. Guava glaze and then the white is um, the cream cheese glaze. Give it a little honk honk. Oh, it's honk honk. Yep. <laughs> a must try here in San Diego. This is my favorite one, brownie. Nine out of 10. We love cream cheese frostings. I'm gonna try yours. Go ahead. Cinnamon sugar. That's really good. That's the best cinnamon sugar for sure. Eight out of 10. Okay. <laughs> and guava cream cheese, I don't know. Mm. That one's a seven. Why do you get the guava? A seven. How about your cinnamon sugar? A nine. <laughs> well, there you go. All right, guys, so we just got some oysters at the farmer's market in Little Italy. It was called Captain Jack's. We got some barbecued oysters this time. So here's the first bite, already has some hot sauce and lemon. Oh shit, that is so good. They look good. They have Parmesan cheese Parmesan and cheese and butter. Butter. Mmm, one of the best grilled oysters I've ever had. They're not super salty either. They're like more meaty, so flavorful, not too salty. Hot sauce kills it too. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I want to soak that. Do it. Mm. Mm. Whoa, we should have got a dozen. This might be the last one for this video. The grand finale. Mm-hmm. No, I'm going to peel off, but Those are a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. What do you think? It tastes like a pasta dish. So good because of the cheese. Yeah, for sure. Who doesn't love cheese? I think the best oyster, grilled oyster I've ever had. Yep, the best. Okay. Delicious. Delicious. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.